him. So here again is James Caan. You were talking inter interestingly about acting uh, the last time. That's strange. And uh, I, I don't know what, what it is I really need to, really want to know about that. Or how, <laughs> some actors can't say anything about it and shouldn't have to. As you say, analysis can be deadly. But uh, I heard or read that when you played one film of yours, I forget which one it was, you found that what you saw on the screen afterwards was, was scary to you. Oh. That didn't seem to be your eyes that you were frightening that you were you said that guy is yeah. dangerous yeah what goes into that kind of thing unconsciousness i think or vodka <laughs> <laughs> no i don't i don't drink really do you all hear that boys and girls no i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't drink but it was uh, you know what happens is that uh like i said last time this osmosis see how i fall into that last time mm -hmm. like i said uh the osmosis takes place. Now, what happens if you're playing a guy in existential pain for three months? You know, you try not to take it home with you, but you can't help it because, you know, to have to go through the process every morning again of getting back into that, that feeling of that, you know, what's important uh, as far as a character is concerned, if I know, just to get back to words again, if I know who I am mm -hmm. and what my relationship to everybody is, what they want, what I want, you know, and every scene should have an objective. Then, and I am that character. If I, you know, then if if the words are uh, don't come easily, if the questions don't follow the answers, it's usually not written properly. I mean that. Excuse me, that one sentence. Yeah. Th you know what I'm saying? Sure. That that. Well, is then blink your eyes or something. I, <laughs> no. No. I, uh, I understand. So what happened I don't in blink, Thief, I which was this uh, was this picture that uh, I think you're talking about, Thief, yeah. which I enjoyed uh, a lot. I mean, I, I like the picture. One out of 31 isn't bad. Uh, I, uh, I became, I mean, I became, there was something maniacal about me, you know? I mean, it was a guy who was just obsessed with, with getting things done in a short period of time because he had his time taken away from him. He had spent 11 years in jail for stealing $40, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was a guy, uh, there was a very simple theme about the movie, which I like, which was a guy who learned how to exist in jail by not caring about himself or anybody else. And he found out that when he achieved that mental attitude, he could uh, exist. And then in the middle form, uh, the middle, the ABA form, the B form, the middle of the picture, all of a sudden he, he finds himself caring about something. He has a child, a wife, and, and because of that he becomes susceptible to this outside force that is evil and so to deal with that he must again return to nature as Rousseau said yeah. uh, and void himself of all these things he cared about and become this Jeez. maniac again yeah. and uh, I think the time spent on the picture and then I was in a trailer all the time you know I had all these big uh, policemen with me, you know, all the time, and I was like in this trailer for 10 hours a day, just like, I felt like, you know, they would throw raw meat in through the window, you know, mm -hmm. I was pacing in there, and I would get out, and plus there were some personal problems at the time, you know, with my family, and, yeah. and it all seemed to, but you know what happens, it's strange, it's, it seems almost like, uh, I, I, I don't know, it seems almost evil to use, when I think about it, things that happen in your life, if you're playing a certain kind of a guy, they seem to, you pick out those things and they become monstrous events because they help, they help you playing that, yeah. that character on that particular day. You know what I mean? Something that would yeah, normally but, maybe not bother you all of a sudden becomes life or death, you know? And uh, there was a lot of that, you know, going on. Does that mean though that if your personal life hadn't been going, had been going something else smoothly happen, at hopefully. that time, you wouldn't have been as good in the movie? Maybe. Thief, or would you've had to maybe. Get, it's possible. I lost. Yes, I mm. lost about twelve to fifteen pounds, yeah. and a few brain cells.